Good evening. My name is Dave Bendis. I live on Mercer Court in Naperville. I'd like to take a moment to thank the Naperville Police Department for being here this evening. I don't recall that being an experience in past meetings at the City Council. Yet recently I read in an article about the city's claims that they're spending exorbitant funds to respond to FOIA requests from people opposed to the smart meter component of the smart grid project. It is a sad day when citizens of Naperville are accused of wrongdoing by the city council for exercising their rights. The principle underlying the FOIA is inherent in the demo democratic ideal as urged by Thomas Jefferson, that is on the Department of Justice website. It is the public policy of this state, the state of Illinois, that the public bodies exist to aid in the conduct of the people's business and that the people have a right to be informed as to the conduct of their business. It is ridiculous to suggest that a citizen's desire to be informed and hold its government accountable is somehow harassing the city council. The Constitution is not an instrument for the government to restrain the people. It is an instrument for the people to restrain the government, lest it become too dominant of our lives and interests. The liberties of a people never were nor ever will be secure when the transactions of their rulers may be concealed from them. That is Patrick Henry. Our country was founded in part on the principles of an informed citizenry and a, and a government held accountable by its citizens. Those in power need checks and restraints lest they become to identify the common good for their own tastes and desires and their continuation in office as an essential to the preservation of their community. That's William Douglas, Supreme Court Justice. Furthermore, throughout the history of the United States, from our founding fathers to current and past Supreme Court justices, respecting an individual's property rights is paramount. Property must be secured or liberty cannot exist, John Adams. Now what liberty can there be where property is taken away without consent, Samuel Adams? This provision, the Fourth Amendment, speaks for itself. Its plain object is to secure the perfect enjoyment of that great right of the common law that a man's house shall be his own castle, privileged against all civil and military intrusion. Justice Joseph's story. All people want is to be informed, have a responsible government, and protect their property rights. The fact is, the City Council has not been transparent about this project. Attorney General Lisa Madigan produced a guide to the Freedom of Inter Information requests. It reads, open and honest government is the cornerstone of American democracy, and it can only be achieved through the free exchange of information between the government and its citizens. It Mr. Closes. Mayor, the speaker's time is up. It is preposterous to suggest that any citizen exercising their rights is being abusive or harassing. Quite frankly, it is un-American. You should do the right thing, be transparent, represent all of your constituencies, us included, and give us a say on what goes on our house. And by the way, Councilman Worley, I welcome any opportunity to speak with you on that. I saw that in the paper as well.